Welcome back you guys, Glenn with Old School Millennial here and today I'm going to be running my steel MS261 against my Husqvarna 550 Mark II. So today I'm going to be running both of these chainsaws against each other. I'm putting brand new chains on each of these straight out of the box. I'm not touching them up or doing anything like that. And then I'm gonna be running them on the same piece of wood. For this test, I've got brand new chains uh, to put on, the cha on these chainsaws. I'm running 18 inch bars on both chainsaws, uh, but these are the chains I'm gonna swap out. Um, for those of you that are familiar with my channel, you may have seen my video on my Steel MS261 or on my Husqvarna 550 Mark II. If not, um, there's going to be a link down in the description um, to those videos uh, in which I go through in more detail a review on each specific chainsaw and go over uh, their specific uh, specifications. So just to give you a brief synopsis on both of these chainsaws, um, for starters, I'll speak to uh, the chainsaws themselves, they are pro level chainsaws. So these are, um, for those of you that are new to chainsaws, there's homeowner grade chainsaws, there's farm and ranch chainsaws, and then there is pro level chainsaws. Um, these are both um, pro saws in the 50cc class. Um, in terms of weight, um, the steel MS261 weighs in at 10.8 pounds and the Husqvarna 550 uh, weighs in at 11.7 pounds. So obviously you're gaining an extra pound. Um, and let me give you an idea of what that means in terms of like your use. Um, I will say um, on the steel, it being 10.8 pounds, it is kind of forward heavy, um, which actually can be good for limbing. Uh, but I'll say whenever I'm holding the Husqvarna 550, um, it just seems a little bit better balanced. So I don't really notice uh, I don't really notice the difference in terms of weight um, and it's only a pound so you're not really talking about a lot the steel obviously having the edge on the weight but with the husky um, the case on it seems a little bit more substantial to me um, that's my personal experience and then the handle is also metal um, so again just a little bit more substantial i think in terms of long-term use I'm probably gonna give um, that to the Husky as far as uh, just being a little bit more substantial. But obviously with something being a little bit more durable like that, you're gonna give up a pound of weight. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, another uh, thing about these two chainsaws, both have the uh, captive bar nuts on the clutch covers. Um, and then both um, have uh, the removable cylinder head um, that you're able to take off um, from the top. It's not like a clamshell is what it's called uh, type system in the farm and ranch or homeowner chainsaws. So both of these chainsaws have um, a computer that's attached to the carburetor. Uh, in the steel, it's, it's called Mtronic, and in the Husky, it's called Autotune. But basically it automatically adjusts um, the air and fuel mixture um, to give you maximum levels of performance um, depending on your situation. Both chainsaws are great limbing chainsaws. They're both great firewood chainsaws. So both of these chainsaws are gonna work great for you um, in, term, in those aspects. And in, and in cutting smaller trees, um, you're not gonna have a problem with either one of these. So today, guys, I'm gonna be running these two chainsaws against each other. I'm gonna be using brand new chains. Um, I'm gonna run them flat out and run them as fast as I can. And I'm making this as an even across the board that I can. I'm gonna be running it on the, the same piece of wood and we're just gonna see which one is the faster chainsaw. Obviously that's not the, the only thing that you wanna look at whenever you're, you're deciding between these two chainsaws, but it'll help you kind of make, help, it might help you make a decision.
So I know you guys are gonna ask me, what's the better chainsaw? Obviously, I have both of these chainsaws myself, so I, I struggled uh, to make that decision myself. Well, first off, I'm gonna ask you, what's your dealer support look like? Um, so, as far as dealer support, do you have a dealer right nearby that you can go to and purchase the chainsaw and go have it serviced or pick up parts? That's gonna determine, in a big way, which one you should go with. Um, I mean, it should help you make that decision. If you have both, um, you kind of have to go through and kind of weigh the pros and cons that I've laid out. Um, I will say this, if you don't have either, either dealer uh, within a, a distance that you can, you can get to, I will say the Huskies are a little bit more readily available online, at least in my experience, um, as far as getting parts and even purchasing the chainsaws. So, you know, if you're kind of out there and you're not able to purchase uh, something in person, you might lean towards the Husqvarna. What is the better chainsaw? Well, I'm gonna use a metaphor here and maybe it can help some of you guys out there when choosing between these two chainsaws. If you're a car guy uh, like me, you would understand this. When you're looking at a steel, it's more, in my opinion, like getting a sports car. Um, and in terms of sports car, I'm talking like a Aston Martin, Ferrari, something like that. Um, that's kind of what I think whenever I run a steel. And that obviously has its advantages. When I run a Husky, on the other hand, I feel like it runs more like a classic muscle car. Um, and for me, that, that's more, I feel like it's like an old Charger, an old Cuda, an old Super B, an old Chevelle. Um, the sounds that this thing makes and the low end torque. So the, the steel, to me, it's all about top end horsepower and it makes really good top end horsepower and it revs really high and works really great in that range. Um, whereas I feel like the Husqvarna has the edge whenever it comes to low end torque. So that low end torque is actually what you feel whenever you're cutting most of the time. So that's something to be thinking about whenever you're looking at these two chainsaws. But really, I will say at the end of the day, if you go out and purchase this 261 or this 550, you're not gonna be unhappy regardless of which decision that you make. Well guys, I've shared what I know about these two chainsaws and I've run them against each other to try and give y'all as much information that I can to help y'all kind of make your decision on which chainsaw to go with. Um, if y'all have any questions, um, be sure to put them down in the comments and let me know uh, if I missed anything. Um, but let me know also down in the comments which one you think is the winner between these two chainsaws and which chainsaw you enjoy running out of these two. Thanks you guys for joining me. For those of you that this is your first time to my channel, um, I started this channel to help inspire people to get outdoors and work with tools and equipment. And a big part of that is running tractors and chainsaws and other types of equipment. Um, and for me, starting a homestead. So if those are, things that you're interested in and you like uh, to see those types of videos, uh, be sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I post up new videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.